guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video. And I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. And I do that through Bible studies, book reviews, discussions, and more. So as the title says above, this is going to be a reading vlog, and I'm so excited for this reading vlog. And um, here is my hot drink of the day. Um, I can't remember her name, but she's from the movie The Aristocats. I loved The Aristocats growing up. It was phenomenal. And on the inside, it has some writing that says, because I'm a lady, that's why. Um, if you've seen the movie, that was something that she always said. I cannot remember her name for the life of me. It's on the screen, but I love this movie so much. Classic. But, reading vlog. So, me and my sister from Closing Beauty and Books, Click the I to go to her channel. We do buddy reads every month. Um, we always try to stick to a Christian fiction, but sometimes we do veer out of Christian fiction and just read fiction books in general. So, I remember that she talked about reading three from Ted Decker, and I picked it up from Barnes and Nobles. Um, it was like eight bucks. Yeah, eight dollars from Barnes and Nobles, and I thought that this was like a horror book, so I was gonna read it in October. Um, but I never got a chance to it in October, and I picked it up because it was on my. It was one of the prompts that I picked up. Um, it was to read a book outside of your comfort zone, and this is classified as suspense, mystery, and horror. A you know a blend of that. So I finally read this and as I was reading it, I definitely was going to give this book a four star read because it was definitely thrilling. It was suspenseful. There was a huge mystery to it. But we get to the plot twist of this book and I was frustrated. And then we got to the plot twist of the plot twist and I was more frustrated to the point where I gave this book five stars because to this day, I am still reeling over the ending of this book and I did not record a reading vlog for this which I'm so mad I didn't so I will be rereading this but it won't be as my initial thoughts it'd be more so me rereading this for the simple fact of finding hints of foreshadowing to the plot twist because now that I know what the plot twists are and now that I'm thinking about the entire story I'm like wait there were so many signs of this really being the case but you don't really pay those any mind or see two and two until the end so I'm definitely going to be rereading this um again in a reading vlog probably over the summer um I want to give it some time so that I don't remember everything off the top but this is literally probably going to be on my top five list for 2021 because this was amazing so we had this and so she said she was going to read skin by Ted Decker and I picked up skin because I need to read this and I'm re doing a reading vlog because I have a feeling that this is going to frustrate me in a good way just like three did so um here is the cover for skin it is foiling I'm not sure if it's going to pick up too well because I don't have all of my lighting done correctly. Um, but yeah, this is, it doesn't really say, but I'm pretty sure it's the same kind of mystery, suspense, thriller vibes going on. Um, so I'm going to quickly read the back of it to you guys. So it says on the back, skin. Recovering cult member Wendy Davidson is on her way to reconcile with her mother in the town of Somerville when she gets caught in the midst of a terrible storm. Three freak tornadoes have already hit, but beyond their threat lies an even more ominous danger. A vindictive serial killer known as Red, who has left a trail of victims in his wake. What Wendy doesn't know is that there is an enigma surrounding Red, and that the FBI is closely guarding revealing truths about Somerville. These secrets have the potential to destroy much more than one small community. When Wendy finds herself in the tempest of the storm among four strangers, the next victim or the killer himself could be closer than she thinks. So, there's not much to it from the synopsis because that's the same thing that happened with Three. All that I knew is that the main character, Kevin, had got a phone call from a guy named Slater that if he didn't confess his sins in the next three minutes, his car was going to blow up. That happened, but it was so much more to that than that. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be so much more to this, so much more mind-boggling information to this um, that is going to literally, like, wow me. So I'm excited. I will read the first three chapters most likely on camera. Um, I'm not going to do any reading now. It's currently 1.10. My son got out of school maybe 10 minutes ago. Um, so I'm not going to do any reading of this now, but I will come back on camera and read the first three chapters, give you guys my initial thoughts, and then I will continue with my reading and then so forth like that. So we are doing this in a four-day read, um, so you guys can see it split. So for today, I have to read to page 115. So that's chapters 1 through 15. So yeah, I'm um, 115 pages today. And um, depending on how this goes, I'm, I want to get his other books because he has The Priest's Graveyard, The Bride Collector, The Bone Man's Daughter, 
he has a book called The Sanctuary. Um, there's a book called Obsessed too. Here's a cover of Obsessed that I think I want to read as well. Um, but I'm like, I'm really debating on that. There's a book called Adam as well that I want to check out. Um, and they're all like mass market paperback size. And I think they're really nice. Um, I noticed that this one, I got this one from Barnes and Nobles. I got this one from Amazon. Um, they're both $8. I think I paid like seven bucks, like a dollar less for this on um, Amazon. But yeah, I bought this one directly from Barnes and Nobles. And this would be the third book I read from Ted Decker. I have read The Girl Behind the Red Room twice. The first time I gave it a solid five star. The second time I gave it a four and a half only because I knew everything that was going to happen in the story. Um, so I read this, gave it five stars. So I definitely can say I enjoy his writing. I enjoy the thrills. I enjoy the suspense and the mystery behind it. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to dive into this. There is another cover which looks like this. Um, I don't, it looks like sand and a face coming out of the sand and it says skin in red over the top of it. But, um, it could just be like plastic or skin. I don't know. But I don't, I don't know where this book is gonna go. I have no idea. No idea whatsoever. Steph and I are super, super excited to read it. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna come back later on and do some reading. But we have skin. I'm, I do have the audiobook for it as well. So I'm going to physically read um, the first. Well, no, I can check the audiobook out as well. On I don't know if Hoopla has a website that I can use because I'm using Hoopla through my library. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to dive into this book. So the next clip will me will the next clip you will see me reading the first three chapters. <laughs> Okay, okay so i read the first three chapters which put me on page 26 and so far i'm thoroughly confused i don't i don't i have no idea what's going on um it's it's confusing me um and i'm at the part where i think i know who the serial killer is but because i know how ted decker writes the serial killer that i think is this the person who i think is a serial killer will probably not be the serial killer but it's just like there's too much going on and there's a lot of characters as well so we have the town of somerville which is where wendy is going wendy ends up in an accident she hits a truck and the truck had hit another car the car has bullet holes no the truck has bullet holes in it but there's no shooter um and then she finds a woman who's laid out on the floor in pain and then a guy gets out of the car with a first aid kit so the guy she meets is carrie and then the female on the floor her name is nicole so you have wendy nicole and carrie in chapters one um, and then in chapter two, we get to meet Colt and some other officers, but um, they get a call and that there is a shooting going on. So Colt goes to the shooting and uh, he ends up meeting the shooter. And it, it's weird how it happens because it's like the shooter shoots really, really quickly. He's on point. He knows how to do things. Um, and the shooter ends up getting away. But when he goes, when Colt goes to chase down the shooter, he realizes that the shooter left a note and it's written in red paint, I would assume, which is why I'm guessing, I'm guessing he's called Red. Um, and the note that he leaves is specifically for Colt. Um, so Colt somehow thinks it's connected to someone he met years ago who told him that he was going to kill his mother and also come back to, um, get the rest of them and for payback. Now, no one knows what the payback is. I don't even think Colt realizes what the payback is. But um, we have that happen in Chapter 2. And then we go back to Wendy in Chapter 3 with Nicole and Carrie. And um, Carrie is like, let's go. Let's go to the next exit, the next town, which will be Somerville. And as they're going to Somerville, there are a lot of cars coming out of Somerville. So uh, Wendy is trying to figure out why are we going to a town where there are a bunch of people coming out of um and carrie is like insistent insistent that's not the word um he is like 
let's go we need to go to somerville so i personally think that carrie could be the killer but i know that if i'm saying that then i'm pretty sure he's not the killer because i know how to take rights so i don't know what is what i don't know if this is going to be another one of those mind things where i'm messed up in the head after the fact no idea but i am so far enjoying the writing the pacing is a little strange um if you guys saw me reaching over i was listening to the audiobook on my computer and the audiobook only goes to 1.5 speed i typically listen to audiobooks on three times speed maybe 2.5 or 2 um on my phone it does go to two times speed but for some reason on the computer the furthest you can go is 1.5 yeah 1.5 is the furthest you can go so it wasn't the best but um so far I'm, I'm invested in the characters like i'm really interested i think i'm more interested in these characters than i was with three um as far as kevin parsons and stuff but yeah this so far is interesting i don't know what's gonna happen i'm interested to see how all these characters are gonna connect and things like that but um yeah we're gonna go so i'm gonna go um i'm actually gonna make a walmart run which is why i ended up switching my shirt and since i'm all um footwear and stuff on but i'm gonna make a run to walmart to come back and then do some more reading i'm gonna read from chapter 4 to 15 and then come with my thoughts but yeah that's it for now so let's go to the next clip which will have my thoughts on the first 100 pages that i read hey guys so i'm back um it is currently 9 40 something and um i finished actually reading about two hours ago but then i ate was on the phone with my son's father and things like that but at the chapter 15 um uh, of skin and i am confused but it's like a good confused and i'm really invested in the characters and the plot and who the murderer is or the serial killer rather um as of now everything has been wiped out um <laughs> from a tornado and it's about five or six people alive um and one of those people are the killer and i think i know before i said it could be carrie but now that his sister is awake i feel like it could be her and her name is nicole I don't I don't really know I it's 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 confusing and interesting and I'm liking it I'm not sure where it's gonna go we have a new character named Jerry so as of right now there's Colt, Wendy, Nicole, Carrie, Jerry, and Red um, so there are six people and one of the five have to be the killer so even though it's six people there's really five people because one of those have to be the killer and right now wendy is very inquisitive she um is very observant she pays attention to a lot of detail sorry if you guys hear that that is my speaker let me turn real quick powering off all right speakers off to my computer but um wendy is very inquisitive and very observant um we have cult who's a police officer uh wendy is a girl that was in the cult that i mentioned at the beginning um we have called the police officer and we know that red is trying to get payback on him then we have carrie who was the guy at the beginning that wendy met we have nicole who is also was there at the beginning but now that she's awake mind you she was passed out she had a fever because she had a snake bite and now she's perfectly fine she's prim and proper and it's like something wrong with her we get a little bit of her backstory and i felt bad for her but mm, I'm, she a little still she's still suspect to me um so we have that and then we have jerry who's a new character who is apparently missing his mouse finger um he woke up he got hit in the head woke up and his mouse finger was cut off which i'm assuming would be the pointer so um it was cut off and yeah so we have those five plus red and apparently red knows both jerry and colt and he's after them two plus the others so it's crazy it's all over the place i am loving it i am truly truly enjoying it stuff is also enjoying it so we're definitely going to pick up tomorrow with uh the second day of reading um it's going to be chapters 16 to 29 i probably will read 16 on camera go off camera and come back on and read chapter 28 so you guys can get my thoughts but um so far i'm really enjoying it it looks like it's right now a three um maybe even a four because i'm really really invested in the characters a lot more than i was with three um three i was just interested in what about the plot but in this i'm interested in both the plot the characters and who the serial killer is so i'm so far enjoying it and i can't wait to see what tomorrow holds so i'm gonna go and you'll see day two clip
guys, so I read to chapter 28, which is page 217, and I am still thoroughly confused. Um, at this point, I trust no one. Uh, basically, everything that they thought happened apparently didn't happen. They were apparently laced with a drug similar to LSD. Um... I'm confused. I'm highly confused because you're reading as the characters in the situation and the situation seems real. But now you're telling me that the situation isn't real and that they were hallucinating. But it was real because everything that took place at that time physically still happened in the real world. I, I am confused, but I'm invested. OK, I'm invested. I love Wendy so much and i'm afraid because i love her so much that she could possibly be the killer because this happened in three where i loved kevin so much and things just were not what they seemed so i really like her and i really enjoy cult i do not stand i can't stand jerry i can't stand carrie and i can't stand nicole and nicole and carrie are brother and sister um and i really want to know who red is because as much as i want to say red could be one of the five there's times where I'm just like, it can't be because they're always all together or right now they're being held by the cops. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So tomorrow I'm going to be reading up to page 319, maybe 320, but I'm thoroughly confused. I am thoroughly confused. So skin is like making my mind confused and me and Steph has been texting a lot and um it's been it's been comical texting each other because it, it, mm, I'll, I'll talk about it what we've been texting towards the end um but it says compelling and thought-provoking fiction that is widely out of the box so definitely out of the box to me I'm not sure exactly what's going on definitely a huge mystery definitely that suspense there the thrills is slightly there but i just i just want to know what is what who the killer is and what's going on because i was confused but i think that's what i love about ted decker's writing is that because when you read it you get invested in the characters and you think you figured out the plot but then you don't know the plot until the twist comes and you're like what the heck so i'm thoroughly enjoying it um a lot i'm not sure what this is going to be right now it's sitting at a four star pretty much how three was three was a four stars until that last third then i was like oh my god five stars so we'll see if this will stay at a four stars or bump to a five not sure but so far so good i'm definitely enjoying this and i definitely will be getting my hands on other writings from him um like i said the other books that i want to get are these definitely want to get my hands on these so um yeah, interesting, enjoying it. That's that. Okay, so I made a promise to Steph that I would only read up to today's reading because <clears throat> she literally like texted me and told me to promise that I would only read today's portion. And I see why, because now I want to read the rest of what... Mm. Okay, so I read to page 320, which is chapter 40. Chapter 40 was literally one page. 
I'm thoroughly confused with this story. I have no understanding of what's going on. Um, nothing is making any sense. I, I don't, I don't know. But I will say I'm enjoying it. It will most likely be a four star review depending on how the last, the last fourth of this book goes. But it's looking like a solid four star. I... This book makes me wonder about the mind of Ted Decker. Um, brilliant writer, but some of the things that he writes makes me a little concerned. Um, uh, th there are no words. I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm just gonna go. I'll see you guys for the last day tomorrow. Say good morning, Chris. <laughs> morning, guys. It's early. Um, brush my teeth, wash my face already. Gave my son his breakfast, and I'm getting ready to finish this this book. Okay. I know yesterday I had little words to say because I was thoroughly confused, and I'm still confused, but it's a good confused. So I'm getting ready to go finish this book. Um, and after I finish the book, I'll have breakfast because I, I need, I need answers. And Steph made me promise last night that I wouldn't finish ahead of her or I wouldn't finish, I wouldn't continue reading last night. So yeah. I'm about to finish. Yeah, his teacher calls him, so I had to go to him real quick. But, um, my, my son's teacher calls him, so he had to turn his camera on and things like that. Um, but yeah. It is currently 9.20 something. It's 9.22 right now. So I'm going to go and read this book. And I'll come back with my final thoughts, my rating, and everything in between. Now you're going to go to 56. Now it's 22. So you're going to go down 2 and across 2. So go down 2. One, two. Now go across 2. One, two. What number is that? Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh no. Please don't be right. uncle uh, again. This is what happens when I try to read a book during school hours. Yes. Because mommy is getting upset. Mm -hmm. I just want to get on my bed and mind my business. <laughs> Me too. I don't want to do school anymore. You don't have a choice. I just want to have my day. You want to have your day. So do I. I would love to go back to having my day. But unfortunately, the way the world is, there's no such thing as my own day anymore. Mommy, do you remember I was in school and I was, I was done with the whole time in pre-K school? Mm -hmm. When I finished my first grade. When I finished first grade. I don't have band-aids. Well, I finished first grade. Oh, you finished first grade in a couple months. In two more months. What about my, my other teacher? Well, I, I finished Three months, I mean. But what about my other teacher? My teacher said, I did good in school. I'll you are doing good in school. No, you look, you made principal on the roll. You pass all your tests. You do great on your projects and your speeches. You're doing great. It's phenomenal. I love it. No, you keep yelling at me, do you? Mm -hmm. I yell at you because you don't do the answers properly. You don't do the questions properly. No, I just sit I just bounce around, huh? Oh. You don't want me bouncing around like this. Hmm? No, if we're doing schoolwork, you're doing schoolwork. You don't bounce around in class, do you? Yes. I mean, no. I just want to read, y'all. Okay, that's enough. Then he goes touching my dad on Switch. It's a new update. Go take it out. Okay. I don't there we go. Go check it out. It's a new update for Animal Crossing. See you, buddy. Mm. He's talking about Animal Crossing. Oh. Aaron. It's a new update. Yeah. 
Okay, let me go, y'all. Let me go. Page 386. I, I, mm. The plot twist on the plot twist was just revealed. The first plot, the first plot twist was out of the box. The second plot twist is like, what? Because I, okay, so I'm on chapter 50 now. I, I am mind blown. So I'm gonna read chapter 50 and 51. I'll come back to read 52 in the epilogue to get my. You guys hear my son, I apologize. So yeah, I'm a I'ma come back. I'm a I'ma come back when I get to chapter 52. Y'all, I'm bugging it. I'm I'm losing my mind. So we not only have one plot twist plot twist, but two plot twists, and now we're hit with a third plot twist, which I am confused. I'm I'm confused. I'm I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm thoroughly confused. <laughs> I'm gonna keep reading. I'm on chapter 51, so I'm gonna come back when I get to chapter 52. But I'm still bugging right now. Like, Steph just started reading. So I can't wait for her to get to all these plot twists because I, I don't know what I'm reading this, you guys. I really wanna say it's a 4.5, but I'm gonna use the Call Pal system. Um, if you don't know what the Call Pal system is, click the, click the eye to go to that video, which explains all about that. But um, it's a seven tier rating system that helps you get to a one to a five star rating. So. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm back. What? What? I'll be back. Bye. Hey guys so i had to come into my mother's room to make this <sighs> the ending of this video i have no words steph has just finished um and she still is like she's lost for words this book was really really good um not as good as three for me so i'm giving it a solid four stars maybe a 4.5 i'm not sure yet um i know i put my i did my review already and put a four stars but it might get bumped to a 4.5 depending on how i feel tomorrow but skin was interesting it does focus on beauty and how many of us wear masks and different skins um i think for me there wasn't a lot of faith aspects which is why yeah i'm gonna stick so far it wasn't a lot of faith aspects for this to be considered a christian fiction novel um the mystery and suspense the thrills there the plot twist there were like three or four different plot twists the ending was too open-ended for me i don't care for open-ended kind of endings especially an epilogue like the epilogue should be the ending of the story but when the epilogue is open-ended i'm lost confused this this was good this this was good and it makes me wonder about ted decker's mind like i feel like maybe there's something wrong with his mind 
maybe because the stories that he creates are just out of the world this was definitely out of the box i know when i saw reviews people were talking about how they could not stand the ending and the ending was too out of the box that the ending for them ruined the book um it doesn't ruin the book for me per se but it definitely does kind of I guess ruin the vibe because the the story itself was interesting like I was intrigued but when you get to the plot twist you're like okay and then you get to the plot twist on the plot twist about who Red is and you're like okay and then you get to the plot twist after finding out who Red is you're like okay and then you get to the ending thinking everything is going to be solved and it's not solved and you're just like what the heck what was going on so overall I definitely enjoy this stuff enjoy this this is definitely for me a four star read I definitely would recommend it if you don't mind out of the box kind of stories because this is definitely out of the box um definitely out of the box but if you are familiar with the matrix or if you have ever watched the anime um sword art online or heard about sword art online then this pretty much has that kind of vibe I'm not going to explain how but um this was really good. I really, really enjoyed it. And I definitely plan to read more of Ted Decker's works. Um, I will be picking up his other books. It's um, The Sanctuary, The Priest's Graveyard, The Bride Collector, The Bones Man's, the Bone Man's Daughter. And there's um, Obsessed. I want to read those. I heard that they're a part of like, a, they're standalone novels, but they're a part of like a bigger universe. The Chronicles or something like that. The Lost Chronicles or something along those lines. But um, yeah, I am enjoying his writing. His writing is definitely, definitely out of the world. The writing alone is like a 10 star for me, maybe a 9. Um, but this, this was interesting. Interesting to say the least. Definitely would recommend it. I am so glad that our buddy read this with Steph. Me and Steph, we be getting some good buddy reads. I think of all the buddy reads we've had, maybe two or three of them weren't as great as we wanted. Like one of them we knew was gonna be really not well. Um, really not well. That was in English. One of them we pretty much knew wasn't gonna be fun because we didn't care for the character anyway. And then the other one we read wasn't that great of a read either. But this was really good. I'm excited to have read it, and um, I can't wait to see and speak more with Steph about it but that is it for this reading vlog guys thank you guys for reading comment and subscribing and all that great stuff i hope you guys do check out ted decker's work if you have read skin let me know if you've even read three let me know i will have a reading vlog for three when i reread it over the summer um because that book messed me up like uh, messed me up but that was a solid buy for me but this skin is a solid four star read great read um and i definitely definitely enjoyed it and it makes me interested in reading more christian um suspense thrillers mystery novels but that's it for this i'm gonna go and eat my lunch and i will chat with you guys in the next video bye